Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make four different kinds of bubble tea. Now bubble tea is one of my favorite drinks, so I'm so excited to share these recipes with you today. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off this recipe, we will pour around a cup and a half of tapioca pearls, also known as boba, into a pot. We will also add around four to six cups of water and oh my gosh, what kind of pouring is that? Anyways, with that embarrassment aside, we can finish pouring our water and bring to a boil. Now, boba usually takes around a half an hour to cook, but I want my bubble tea and I don't have time for that, so I got the instant kind that only takes around three minutes to cook. Once the water comes to a boil, place on the lid and let it cook for two to three minutes before removing from the heat and straining. While the boba is still hot, transfer them to a bowl and also add around a half cup of brown sugar. This will create a delicious syrup for the boba to soak in while we prepare our tea. For a classic tea latte, I will begin by steeping some very strong black tea. I did this with a French press because I'm using loose leaf tea, but if you're using tea bags, you can also use a different container. I used around two cups of boiling water and two tablespoons of loose leaf Earl Grey. I also added a couple tablespoons of sugar to sweeten our tea concentrate. I let it steep for several minutes before pressing the leaves to the bottom. After the tea is cooled, we can prepare our bubble tea by putting a couple spoonfuls of our boba into the bottom of a glass. If you want your drink to be really cold, then you can also add some ice now, but I chose not to because my tea was cool enough. Then we can pour our tea into the glass until it's around halfway full. Then to finish, all we have to do is pour in some milk, give it a good stir, and add a big straw, and our tea is ready to serve. So now that we've done our basic tea latte, I think we can elevate it by bringing in some different flavors. For our next tea, I prepared it the same way as the last one, but when I steeped the tea, I also added around a tablespoon of lavender in with the tea leaves. Then, just prepare and serve the same as last time, and now you've got a delicious lavender black tea latte. For our third bubble tea, I wanted to make a drink that is very commonly served in bubble tea shops, a Thai iced tea. And for this drink, I went out and bought a special tea mix to brew our tea. It's mainly comprised of red tea leaves, which are the larger pieces of the mix, but it also has a couple other spices to give the drink its signature flavor. To steep this tea, I added around two tablespoons of the mix in with around a cup and a half of boiling water and let it steep for several minutes. Now, I didn't add any sugar to the tea itself because we are going to sweeten this tea using something a little different. Instead of using sugar to sweeten the tea, Thai iced tea is commonly sweetened using sweetened condensed milk. So I mixed a couple tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk in with some regular milk, although evaporated milk is also commonly used. Then to serve, I added the boba and the tea, and then I poured in our sweetened condensed milk mixture. Then just give it a good mix and our beautiful orange Thai iced tea is ready to serve. Finally, for our last tea, I wanted to make a latte using another tea that I commonly see in tea shops, matcha. So to make our matcha latte, I started with around a cup and a half of boiling water and added around a tablespoon of matcha powder. I mixed thoroughly and let it steep for several minutes. Then to serve, just spoon in some of our boba, add our matcha, and then pour in some of our sweetened milk from before. You can also sweeten the drink by adding sugar to the tea like we did the others if you would like, but I wanted to use the sweetened condensed milk mixture for this one. Then give it a quick stir and gather all your drinks because we have just finished our bubble teas. So let's take a look at them now, shall we? So today we made bubble tea. Each tea was relatively similar in its preparation, but they all had their own unique flavors and I would recommend giving them all a try. And if you do end up making one of these recipes, let me know how it goes. With that being said, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider sharing it with your friends. Otherwise, stay tuned and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!